Welcome everybody to our Green Acres. Today's video, I'm going to give y'all lots of fall decorating ideas. So we're going to have a lot of fun. So the first project we're going to work on is going to be this little wooden pumpkin. I've had this for years and I have transformed it and made it many ways as a pumpkin and only paid $3 for it. So I've got a lot of good use out of it. Now I'm going to show you a piece of decoupage paper. This is a big sheet and you get lots of designs on it. I'm going to have it linked below, but my friend Jackie at Ruth and Ruby, she sells this. But I'm going to show you some really fun projects that we can make using this one sheet of decoupage paper. The first thing I did was I painted my pumpkin all white. That way I'll have a good background for my decoupage paper and nothing will show through. I took the design that I felt like would work best that would fit over the whole area of my pumpkin and then I just placed it on there. I'm using DIY liquid patina. Y'all know this is my favorite decoupage medium, but you can also use Mod Podge. I want to make sure that I adhere the paper really well to these little raised slats on my pumpkin. And to do that, I always love to use a brayer when I'm using decoupage paper. It really helps roll out any wrinkles or excess uh, decoupage medium and it really works it out to the edges to where it doesn't cause bubbles or wrinkles. Just go over it with your brayer gently so you don't tear your paper and get it on and adhere it to your, your project really well. Now once the liquid patina dried I just went around with a piece of sandpaper and I sanded off the excess paper. I went around I made sure that I smoothed out all of my edges really well of my pumpkin and now my pumpkin is done. I love these colors and I think they're going to pair really well with the fall decor that I have this year. Now I'm going to make a messy bow and to do that you just want to take strips of any kind of scrap fabric or lace you may have. I even put some tulle in there. Tulle is a great little uh, fabric to put in your messy bows. It just kind of adds a little extra fluff. When you get your messy bow as you know, large as you want it with your fabric, so just go in now and tie it in the center really tight, and this way it'll really give it its, its fullness. And then a lot of times, once you get it made, you just want to bring your ends together, clip them off with your scissors, and just trim it down to your desired size. This will also just help make it more fluffy, and then just always fluff it out with your hands, of course, and just make sure you've got it the right size, and you may sometimes have to trim it a little bit more. I'm just going to attach it here using a little bit of hot glue, and I'm also going to show you how we can add another beautiful embellishment to this pumpkin using the same decoupage paper. Now I'm going to take a little hang tag. You can get these at Dollar Tree, and Dollar General sometimes has these, and I'm sure Walmart on the craft section will have these also. I'm just going to apply a piece of that Argyle Check design that I had left over from the pumpkin, and I'm going to adhere it to the little tag. I had to work and fill in the corner because my, my paper wasn't large enough to fit over the whole tag, but that is the fun of decoupage papers. You can piece it together and you'll never know. So I applied it to the little tag. I used my blow dryer just to heat it up and help it dry a little faster. Once it dried, then I went around with my sandpaper. I removed the excess paper and then I went through with a pencil and I poked through the hole. Now this adds a beautiful embellishment to the pumpkin we just did. And it just also goes great with my favorite color for fall this year, and that's mustard gold. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite color is going to be for this fall season. Open air, side by side we sway there in all the colors. Now I'm going to show you another fun fall project that we can use that same decoupage paper, but we're going to use a big, large tag that I got during the summertime at Dollar General. So don't pack up all your summer supplies just yet. But this will make a great hang tag for us to use the other, another one of those designs on that beautiful decoupage paper. And this is a beautiful little antique mannequin graphic. But I'm just going to apply it to the hang tag using my DIY liquid patina. I'll roll over it really well with my brayer just to work out any excess um, liquid patina. And then let it dry. Go around. Remove this, the paper with a piece of sandpaper. And just make sure to go around and smooth all your edges out. And we've got now a beautiful hang tag. 
Now, like I told y'all, sometimes if your decoupage paper doesn't fit, you can always go in and get another piece and kind of work it in in those areas that your paper may have run out. And that, like I say, that's the easy part of decoupage paper. You can a lot, a lot of times fit it together and you'll never know. So that's what I did. I just took a scrap piece and I put it in the top where my paper was a little bit short and I applied it there. Now this right here is going to make a beautiful embellishment. And I love the colors of this because I think this screams fall. I'm just going to poke back through the holes with it using a pencil and I'm just going to put some really pretty lace um, ribbon through them. Now Totally Dazzled has just rolled out some little mini crowns. So I'm going to leave an affiliate link down below to Totally Dazzled. Y'all make sure to go out and check out their website. They have some beautiful new products out and I know we're going to love them for our upcoming projects. Now another project using that same decoupage paper and we're going to take one of these little signs that should be out at Dollar Tree soon. I got this one last year but they have these top signs just about every season. I'm going to take this mannequin right here. This one right here is absolutely beautiful and like I say I love the blacks and the golds on this paper and this paper right here is less than seven dollars and I'm making a lot of projects out of it and I still have paper left over. This design right here fits perfectly over this little tag, so I won't have to piece anything together. And I like to work in sections when I do large projects using my decoupage paper. I just usually do one end and then I'll go and do the other end, and that's what I'm doing here. And like I say, y'all know I love to use my brayer. It's one of my favorite crafting tools. So if you don't have one, I'm gonna have a link for the one that I use down below. And once everything dried, the fun part comes. I love this part. I love getting to go around and remove the excess paper. And I usually use a piece of sandpaper. This one had some really intricate little edges. So I used a nail file. So that's another little tool that's good to have. And a lot of times you can find these little nail files at Dollar Tree. I could really use some stuff like that. Okay, y'all, now let's make some fun pumpkins. I love making pumpkins every year and just get creative with it. I'm going to take one of these carvable pumpkins, and these come from Dollar Tree. I get these every year. But you just want to hollow out each end as much as you can because what we're going to do is we're going to run yarn through that um, hollowed out hole. To get started, I just tied a knot in the end of my yarn just so I'll have something for my glue to grip to and I just glued it on the inside and just make sure it adheres really well and then get started. And this is basically all we're going to do. We're just going to wrap yarn from the, from the inside to the outside and just keep going around. And I found it was easier to cut long strips of yarn and just keep working in sections. Once you get that section done, then just start over and do the same process again. Cut off another long strip of yarn and keep going. Now I'm using some yarn that I already had on hand, but you could use any kind of yarn that you want or you may have, you know, in your supplies and you can make different colors of these. I absolutely love this. This is kind of a cashmere type sweater type yarn. I absolutely love it. It's very soft and I'll try to find what I use and link it down below. But just work in sections and just kind of keep gathering it together so you can't see the pumpkin. 
and just keep wrapping until you get to the end. And once you get to the end, just glue it off and then you'll just want to trim off that tail and make sure I use like that little, uh, little plastic pad. That way you don't burn your fingers. Now, just to make sure that I have my ends inside my pumpkin secured really well, I just added some, some um, pillow filler. And now, just to cover that up, I just took some scrap pieces of the yarn, and I'm just going to glue it down on the top just to give it more of a decorative look and just so you don't see that filler. Now, I'm just taking a, a little big stick that I found in my yard, and I love it as a pumpkin stem, and I'm just going to apply it. Now, I'm going to take some, some wire. I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to wrap it with some of the same yarn. I'm just going to make some of those little curly things that sometimes you see on pumpkins. I'm just going to make some of those. I'm just going to wrap the whole wire using my yarn and once I get finished, I'll glue it off at the other end and trim it off. And then I'm just going to wrap it around a pencil and give it that little spiral look and I'm going to make a couple of these. I made a short one and then I'm going to make one a little bit longer. And this way, and I don't, the wire that I'm using is a scrap piece of wire that I cut off the back of a frame. It was a piece of wire that was hanging on uh, a hanger for a frame. So I'm just going to hot glue now my stem on, but you can use any kind of stem that you, that you desire. And then I'm just going to nail glue on my little embellishments. And now we got a beautiful little yarn sweater pumpkin. And just to top it off around the stem, I'm going to take a little bit more of that scrap yarn and I'm just going to glue it around the stem. It just gives it a little bit more of an embellishment and a little bit more fluff. You can add now some really pretty little embellishments to your pumpkin. You can hang tags on your pumpkin or you can just leave it like it is. And like I say, I think these would be so much fun to make these in different colors and set these out. And just to elevate your vignettes this fall, I always pick these up at the thrift store. I paid $1.99 for this one. All I'm going to do is, somebody had already put a light coat of paint on it. I'm just going to go around it with some white chalk paint. I'm going to get it painted up really pretty. And these make great, beautiful pedestals for your pumpkins and your fall decor. Now I'm going to show you an inexpensive way to make some really pretty pumpkins. Just take some clothing that you may have that may be worn out or some that you may find at a yard sale or a thrift store at a really good price. I'm taking this shirt that I found at Walmart. It was on the clearance aisle for $1. I cut it up and now we've got all these different kinds of, we've got a ruffle, I've got that, those sleeves, it's got that really pretty eyelet cut out, but I'm going to take the part of the top, and I love the mustard color this year, and this is a beautiful color. This top did not fit me, I wished it had, because it was really cute, so I'm just going to use it for one dollar and make some really pretty pumpkins out of it. Now, I just, I've made pumpkins like this in videos before, it's just you take a toilet paper empty roll and then you just use that for your center. I did cut it down to fit the size of the pumpkin I wanted to make and then you just wrap it around with pillow filler and I use some hot glue on my toilet paper roll just to secure the filler. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with and then you just want to wrap your fabric around it and gather it and this is just several pumpkins that I'm making. I made a few just to give you some ideas of how, how you can make these. They're so easy and affordable. And then I'm going to show you some really cute ways of how we can take these pumpkins. We can embellish them because that's the fun of making pumpkins is the embellishments and the details you can add to them after you get them made. 
after I got my fabric wrapped around my stuffed pumpkin, I always like to go in and fill in the center just to make sure all that fabric that is tucked down in there is secure and it's got something to hang on to. I added a little bit of hot glue just to add a little bit more security to it. Let it dry really good and just make sure everything is tucked down into your pumpkin really good and it's secure. Once it is, then you can decide what kind of stem you want to use. You can take sticks from your yard or in my case, I'm going to take a pumpkin stem that I had left over from some other pumpkins that I have purchased. You know, pumpkin stems, like I say, can be made from just about anything. And that's the fun of making pumpkins is just getting creative with it. Now, this is just a Dollar Tree little styrofoam pumpkin. I removed a little burlap that was on it. And I'm just going to take some more of that fabric and just show you how many pumpkins we can make out of one a $1 shirt that I got on clearance at Walmart. I covered this one. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just stuffing that center really good just so my fabric is secure. And now we got another pumpkin. I got just a little bit left over. This is some st stretchy fabric, thank goodness. I stretched it out with my hands the best I could just to make, make it go a little bit further because I was going to be stretching it to get this pumpkin covered. I did have just a little area I didn't get covered, but I'll show you how I cover it in just a minute, and you'll never know it. So again, just stuff down in that center, secure your center of your pumpkin really good so your fabric is really tight. Work it around, and once it gets worked around, then I'm just gonna take some hot glue, and I'm just gonna just glue the fabric in where that little part of the pumpkin is showing. And like I say, this fabric was stretchy, so it was really easy to work with, and it worked. So just try to go the extra mile with whatever fabric you've got. Make as many pumpkins as you can, and you can just get creative with them. Now with the sleeve, I thought this design on the sleeve was so pretty. So I cut it out, and now I'm just going to make some really, I thought this would make some really pretty decorative leaves for my pumpkins, just to add a little bit more embellishment and detail to them. So I just cut the sleeve apart, and I'm just gonna cut out the shape of some leaves. I didn't even go by a pattern, I just kinda cut them out. Leaves are pretty easy to cut out, just, it, they're really just like a, a tea drop, um, a tea drop, a tear drop. And so I just cut out a few of those, and then I'm just gonna glue those onto my pumpkins, and that just added another little little detail to them that I thought was so pretty and I'm, I'm still using the same shirt. Now I'm going to take these little chandelier uh, ornaments that I got at Hobby Lobby and you get I think four on this little pack right here. I'm going to take the bottom of it off and then I'm just going to stick that down and make a, show y'all some ideas for different kinds of unique pumpkin stems. I'm going to add a couple of those little eyelet leaves, stick that little chandelier uh, tee up down in it and that made a beautiful little pumpkin stem. Now I'm going to show you some ways that we can add some really special touches and embellishments to our pumpkins. These are some tags that I got on Amazon and y'all you get so many of these and they were less than $15. You got four boxes and these things are loaded down with all kinds of different kinds of tags, different shapes and different sizes. There's botanicals, there's florals, there's some vintage ladies, just about any kind of design that you want will be in these boxes. Make sure to go out and check out my Amazon store. I'll have these linked down below, but these are great for all kinds of projects. Now I'm just going to take the burlap that I took off that little styrofoam pumpkin from the Dollar Tree, and I love to make leaves out of those. Just cut it up and make a leaf, and then I'm just going to tie it with a little piece of twine. I like to separate my twine and just make my, my twine strands just a little bit thinner. Glue that onto your pumpkin. Now add one of these beautiful little tags. This one right here was perfect. I love the sunflower on it, and I think it just add that special touch to the pumpkin, and it really brought out and matched that mustard color that I was going for. Just another styling tip that's a great product for your fall vignettes. My friend Julie over at Julie's Designs and Signs, she has started carrying some beautiful florals, and she's got a lot of those on her website. I'm going to leave a link to Julie's website down below. Also, this little cute chicken, I got it in the spring, but I'm going to show y'all a great thing that we can do with it. My friend Jackie at Ruth and Ruby sells these. I'm going to link it down below. Just flip that little Hello Spring tag over. You can add something to the back side of it, or you can just flip it around. And now this cute little bird with these little colors, I think blend in so well with all my fall decor. The 
Another cute project that I made to set out in my fall decor was this little burlap tote bag. I picked this up during the summertime at a yard sale and I paid $1 for it. I have this bird transfer and I'll make sure to link it down below, but it just come off of a sheet of some other transfers and I've just had it left over. I thought the little bird would go great on this little burlap tote and who doesn't love birds and especially in the fall time. And speaking of birds, this little cute bird pick is at... Ruth and Ruby, so make sure to go out and check out Jackie's shop. She's got a lot of beautiful decor, but this little bird fit perfect in my little burlap bag, and I think these right here make such a great addition to my fall vignettes. Dad I hope everyone is enjoying the video so far and you're getting lots of ideas and inspiration for your home for the fall season. I'm going to take this piece. I got it at a yard sale for $4 and it's just been in my building. So now that the weather is still really nice outside, I'm still spray painting as much as I can because spray painting and especially pieces like this with a lot of intricate detail is a lot easier to spray paint than it is to, to brush it on. I just gave it a couple of layers of white flat Rust-Oleum spray paint and then I'm just going to go over it really well with some sandpaper just to make it look like it is more vintage looking. I just filled it up and styled it with more of the florals that I received from Julie. I'm going to make sure to leave a, a link to all of these florals that I use in today's video down below so if you're interested you can go out and check them out. The little candle rings in the back, I featured those in last week's video. Those are in my Amazon store and you get a pack of six for those. They're absolutely beautiful. We're almost at the end of the video, y'all, but before we end, I'm going to give y'all one more idea for fall decor. If you see these at thrift stores, and I know you do, I pick them up all the time, these silver plated pieces. This one was $5. I love the intricate detail of it, and I love that handle. I just stuck some beautiful fall florals in it with my little bird. These right here make great pieces. So anytime you see these pieces out at yard sales and thrift stores, always pick them up. Okay, y'all, now it is a sad time of the video because I have to tell y'all goodbye. But hopefully I'll be back next week and I hope all of y'all will be too. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my content. I have a lot of content coming your way. It's the exciting part of the year with fall and the holiday season coming up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I love y'all and I will see y'all again in my next video. Bye, y'all.